Good evening everyone. The Chris Andreas and my dear Pauls. My name is Benjamin Plangi. I am from Telangana, MA English. A leader who is a leader, whoever wants to be a servant is a leader. So what does a leader need? A leader needs a great vision. A leader needs a strong commitment. A leader needs a firm decision. A leader needs and the leadership qualities and that all we can observe in Moran Abdul Kalam sir. Because when I was reading about him, I have, I'm not acquainted with him before, but you know, as, uh, I was uh, able to know many things that was contributed for the people and for the society. And first thing is that a leader must be a serving heart. When we see about him, when we learn about him, he has a serving heart because when you see, look at his contribution that he has done for the country, for our beloved country, and um, and he was the pioneer of many things in India because you know like um, like IITs and UGC and many education institutions and Aligarh Muslim University these are all the things by just his intuitive and yes and other thing is that and when we need second point is the the strong commitment and secularism because you know he never like you know he never supported the partition and he never supported the Hindu Muslim and partition and he always promoted the goodness and unity for the people and one more thing that and he also and he was against he was against the Muslim League which was you know uh, like you know uh, promoting the promoting the inequality and and we can also see that in his newspaper and whatever the his magazine all he learned. so what what did he promote through these al -Hilal. he promoted the goodness to the people. He always wanted to reach to the people. He all he wants he wants to get connected to the people through the al -Hilal. For that reason, he encouraged the people to get you know to get involved or to get take part in in the um, in freedom struggle. So that was done by uh, the al -Hilal. Even though the British people you know uh, stopped that later again, he started other paper and he always wanted to serve the people because his commitment was secularism and his commitment. Was was to reach people and to get them involved in no matter what of the religion maybe no matter what the situation they make there he just wants to get the people involved for the society and the third thing is that a great vision he has a great vision because he was the first education minister in India because uh, even though he has the ability to take the high position but he refused the high position and he just took the like uh, own education minister because he knows the value of an education he, he wanted to reach the people through education he wanted to promote and he, he always wanted to each and everyone to be edu educate in India so for that is the reason he was uh, he was uh, like uh, taken the education minister and by this we can understand that you know by by his ideas we can take we can adopt his ideas but, but you know, when you see present scenario of India, India is in crisis because we can say that it's not following secularism, it's not following the unity, it's not following any togetherness. You know, he's tried very hard, toiled very hard for the, you know, for promoting the goodness and he never wanted and he was always protested against the two nation theory. And this was all the things done by Mohan Abdul Kalam sir. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you.